Friends, what a beautiful day here in the backcountry in New Mexico. We've had a little bit of rain this last week after a historically dry start to the year and season, but it's nice to see some of this rainfall finally starting to make its way in. But as I travel here into the backcountry, what a show of wildlife track. I've seen a number of deer tracks and a number of bear track here in the mud. So we have several of them. There's its print right there. It's got a nice print right here in the mud. There's his paw print here. And of course another one right in there. They are very active through here. That looks like uh, either the same bear or multiple bears that have come right through here. I can't keep it out of the uh, equation that I might see a bear this weekend just with how much uh, sign there is out here. But it is incredibly beautiful out here. Riding temperatures are at about mid 60s. I mean, it just feels great. Got a nice uh, partly cloudy sky. And we also have off and on sprinkles. So that's just the tone of what's going on out here as we ride through this amazing, beautiful forest setting here. Trails a little muddy in areas, so I imagine that if it rains anymore, tomorrow might be a slushy ride out of here, as we are forecasted to get a pretty good rainfall this evening. But of course, uh, kind of on the outskirts of the target area for where all that rainfall will fall, but you never know, we might get a quick pass by shower from that storm that's off to uh, the south of here. It is slowly starting to sprinkle now, and it is really, really ominous up there in the skies. I need to think about finding camp here real soon. I want to try to find something that's a little tucked into uh, a nest of trees and, you know, something that will provide me a good uh, canopy just to help with any potential rain showers. guys the scene changed out here in a matter of seconds literally uh, and then the skies just opened up I mean this came in out of nowhere that's part of the routine here in the high country I covered up my bag with the tarp I need to get my rain suit out of the back there and put on at least a jacket uh, maybe some rain pants and it is really starting to come down uh, so off of these uh, roads up here you could see that Water is starting to run down. Uh, yeah, starting to rain pretty decent out here. So let's uh, get dry with the rain suit. This came out of nowhere, man. I wasn't uh, fully anticipating just how strong this rain was going to get. But uh, it's here, so I got to make do with what happens. And 
you know, stay positive. Everything will be good. Here's my rain suit. All right, jacket is on. Well, in just a matter of moments, the skies went from a sprinkle to full out little moderate rainstorm. Everything got really muddy really, really quick. I quickly covered my bag in front from getting any more wet and I put on a rain jacket. Uh, I need to find camp fairly quickly. Uh, yeah, that was the, the last thing that I was trying to have happen is get caught up in a rainstorm like this. But that's just uh, the scenario up here at uh, almost 8,000 feet in elevation. Storms do come quickly and they also leave just as quick. But it's hard to say that this one is going to leave just because of how uh, overcast it looked. It was farther south, but it just happened to be uh, drifting off in the right direction towards me and that's just uh, what's going on guys. Yeah, this looks pretty good back here. I'm going to try to get under this big uh, pine tree. It looks nice. It looks flat enough. Oh, good. This is uh, providing a little bit of a shelter until I could get uh, fully set up. So let me uh, go ahead and get advanced into the next phase of things here. It feels good to be at camp. All set up, fire going. Rain is backed out. Can't ask for a better evening, I'll tell you that. Took the uh, fire a little while to get going. Everything was just so damp. But once it caught, it's doing okay, man. Just so peaceful up here. Well, this is the first time I kind of get a chance to actually walk around and get a feel for the area. Rain jacket is hung up, drying out. One thing I observe now is I am camped in an area where it is very heavily signed with just bear activity. Um, right here behind me, there's my tent. And right here is a dried up pile of a bear dump that is probably, you know, a couple weeks old, if not more. However, right over here behind you guys, 
There is a super, super fresh pile of uh, bear dump. I mean, so fresh, it almost seems that as I was hurrying my way up this trail, that it, I may have caught him in the act of doing his business. Like, he went and bolted. That's how fresh this is. Check it out. Yeah, here's that pile of bear dump. I mean, it don't get any fresher than that. You still got a little bit of bugs in and around it. I mean, it is just super fresh. So I think they're coming over to uh, eat on these berries to fatten up for winter. So here's a look at what those berries are like. So yeah, they're just kind of littered all through here. and This makes for uh, perfect eating uh, for any type of bear habitat. But this is the uh, game trail right here. You can kind of make sense of it. It goes right through there and just kind of cuts off back that way. Again, uh, I was so busy trying to just get set up and get my tent shelter place that I didn't pay attention uh, very well to how heavily occupied this area is with just bear sign. But just got to be mindful and just uh, be aware that bear might come through camp at some point. Well guys, I'm going to head out to bed. It's about 10.45 at night, pretty tired. I hung out here by the campfire and I listened to uh, Steve Rinella's campfire stories. So that was actually pretty cool to uh, hang out here on a solo camping trip, listen to some of those campfire stories next to the campfire and just incredible evening, man. Yeah, those campfire stories are pretty interesting. They are... Uh, close encounters of life and death with people who've uh, gone out hunting and just uh, sharing their experiences and wow just unbelievable encounters that some of these folks have had so good night guys i'll see you in the morning uh peace out What a beautiful morning here up in the mountains. It sprinkled off and on throughout the night last night and nothing got too serious but woke up and everything's just nice and damp from all the rain that we got yesterday. But unbelievable morning. It really is. It's just so pretty out here. I am going to enjoy this hot cup of coffee and just relax in this setting. All right, camp is all broke down and situated, cleaned up, just uh, packing to leave for the day. Yeah, this was a nice spot. I will definitely come back to this spot 
in the future. What a beautiful morning to be heading out of the backwoods here. Had a great time last night. I thought for sure that I'd see a bear somewhere along the trail or one that came nearby camp with all the bear sign that I saw. But all together, what a great trip. I love these trips. They're just too quick for a single overnight. I just want to say thank you so much for all your support, your interaction uh, through comments, your liking, and following me on social media really means a lot to me. But until the next trip, guys, I'll see you guys on the outside. You guys take care of yourselves. I'm out.